before we continue with this quick tutorial we need to install this plugin the name of this plugin is called totally Rad, made by dt pictures and i'll show you guys very soon how you can use this plugin and i'll show you how you're going to install this plugin so when you land this plugin found on the filter section it contains a whole lot of textures that you can click and just change the blending mode and you can also reduce the opacity of the texture you can also load your own textures from it if you go to the above section you'll find where you can load your textures and you can change the opacity in case it's too much there's a whole lot of textures found in this plugin so um, i'll show you guys how you'll be installing this plugin very soon but for now this is how this plugin works it's called totally rad made by dirty pictures and i'll be showing you guys very soon how we are going to install and activate this plugin so stay here and we'll get into it right now okay this is the folder of the rad so this is the folder of the totally rad plugin if you open the folder you're going to find this the setup over there so just install it i already have it on my machine so if you're already having it this is what it is the message that you receive but if it's your first time installing it you're not going to get this message just follow the prompt just follow next or yes then just install the plugin after that i've given you some two file scripts in a folder containing all the textures so i'll be showing you how you, you export this folder so just select the two of them copy it then you go to your c drive you locate your adobe photoshop version you have on your c drive so just go to your c drive program files and look for the adobe then you select the version you are currently using i'll go to 2019 then you find the preset folder then you look for the script then you paste it inside the script that's the only way you get the plugin when you get to your filter section otherwise if you go to filter you're not going to see the plugin over there so right now in photoshop and uh, this this work that we'll be doing is called extremely dangerous this a uh, concept i had very uh, this week and i tried to make a video uh, to show you guys uh, the idea so just like a uh, let's say a cyborg or i don't know i don't know how to call this guy i had this image on all splash and i'm going to do a quick selection so i try adding some elements to this guy here just make it give that a cyberpunk look so i did a quick selection of him so i use the pen tool you can also use any means of selection i normally use the pen tool to make my selection so i made a quick selection i also had had a girl holding a gun also from unsplice and i'll be giving the psd so that you guys can download it and, and follow along or check anything you want to do so this is the lady i also make a quick selection of part of his of her hand and also the gun she's holding I also use the pen tool to make the selection just take your time when you are doing selection so looking at uh, this look this look i wanted to give so i have to get a background of uh, some city i don't know how, if it's tokyo or, or china i just had this cool background uh, uh, and it felt good for me to use it so just place a hand like as if she was about to shoot the cyberpunk guy so using our throat blur to blur then we'll add the bokeh the background so try and just trigger the settings or the sliders to see what is good for you then you just press an ok to activate
so we'll be adding some brightness and contrast uh, we have to give some depth uh, in the picture so we'll start with the background start building the background then we'll come to the subjects so we'll add some little bit of light source background see if we we'll have some some light emitting from that background so we we'll use the caves and just push the sliders up you know just add we we'll also have to color correct uh, the lady with the gun and we'll find out uh, complete our color grade using our alien skin plugin so i'll be leaving all those in the link and make sure guys you subscribe to this channel turn on the bell notification because i'll be posting every week and check the link in the description my social media are all available instagram twitter facebook and also youtube here that you have to subscribe to this channel and i'll be uploading good content and free stuff for you guys to download for free try to paint some light salt from the background on the guy so all using the caves select your brush or this the opacity and just take your time and paint this other that little the light in the background onto him Do the same thing for the lady also uh, we have to add that light salt just know where your light is coming from and just add that source of light to your subject so i had this cool background also uh, i'll just add it to my own change the blending mode to i think i took screen screen look better yes so screen So you can also try different blending modes and just pick what you feel is good for you. red giant no light to create our light source so last week video i had this so you guys can check the link or check um, my previous video on the no light and how you can install and activate so add the blur to it then we'll duplicate it on top of the guy and we'll do the opacity later that I just to give that reflection or that light source emitting from the background if it's too much you can use the levels to adjust the brightness of the light you can also use the hsl or the hue saturation and luminance to just change the color if you don't prefer that color you want different one you can use the HSL to change the color. So, if it's too much, you can always create a layer mask and paint with a black brush. Since it's a layer mask, you can also come and do the black brush. Since it's a layer mask, you can also come again and in case you 
even want more so we are just in a we do our color corrections i use the color balance to do our, the corrections So I had an idea of putting something like a HUD uh, on the head of the guy. So I just used the paint tool and make made the shape. Like a display on him, like he's looking through or he's projecting to find his target. So this is what I get. I just used the paint tool to just create a shape. I uh, made a clipping mask on the guy so everything affects only him. So I just go with this color and I'll try to add some element also to just give that vibe. So I had an image of a city and I just made a clipping mask on the shape we just made in the blending mode. I took uh, the I use hard hard light or color dodge. You just try the blending modes and see which one looks better for you. So just make some adjustment then you now paint over the necessary parts we want in that image. So we use the clip the layer mask of the shape to just add it to their image over there. And try blending modes and we'll add a glare to it so that it's not all that much so look at the shade you have to add that depth of the hud we created so we're using our blending option i'll use the bevel bevel and ball section to add that depth so if you right click just go to your blending options and you go to level and ball just try your settings and see which one looks makes it perfect so i think it's okay for now so now i'm creating that that target or that light light uh this this reminds me of a uh, this movie this predator do you have this this sort of 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 lights which target you and wherever you are So just create a shape layer and try different colors and different blending modes just to give that that light so the girl holding the gun never knew she was also on target from the guy because the guy is extremely dangerous and and since he's just recalling or trying to get his target so So just take your time any place you don't want just create a layer max and paint with a black brush and so try different blending modes and see anomaly the color doors the overlay the linear lights the screen mode uh, i use most of them but you can try what you feel is best for you so also add the density at the back of the shape we created and using the layer marks or you can use I make a black layer mask and paint with white to reveal only the section you want. If it's too much, you can add a blur to it.
haven't subscribed to this channel i hope you're watching this tutorial you're excited to see this tutorial so just make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell notification so that any week every week that i upload you are able to get them so you can come and watch the free and i'll try to provide you guys with free stops or plugins or anything that you guys can use in your edit i'll be giving it out for free so make sure you turn on the notification so that you'll be the first to be notified also check me on instagram at compound that's the whole thing i also number i also put uh, most of my work over there and also check my story when you get to instagram but i'll be updating you guys on what i'll be doing next so looking at the background created you need to uh, add more light or highlight to both our subject and the lady over there so we'll try painting with a soft brush and so i had this scratch image PN png image i think i'll be adding to the guy over there to do to make uh, to just tell that so I had this image just add the blur to it position it wherever you like add the blur to it if it's too much just add a little blur duplicate it you can also change the color and you position it just to give it that depth you can also change the blending mode to make it look cool So we're adding a logo to it. I'll make a selection of it and fill that selection with any color. I'll try changing the blending mode also. So I'll just fill it, duplicate the layer, and reduce the feather to go to the max option. Let your brush old brush just paint the color and try changing the blending mode if it's too much you can reduce the opacity so now we're adding highlights to the lady and also drawing the highlights there are so many ways to add highlights and and this one is personal preference but i normally like to select the color of the background then i'll just select a soft brush and uh, reduce the size and just take my time and paint all my edits i do i use the mouse and just the keyboard i don't uh, i've not even not used a tablet or any drawing device all my edits i use mouse to do my edits the only thing you have to do is just take your time and just draw it take your time is the best way you can achieve the good testing you want just have to take your time whilst you are you are painting if you make a mistake you can always clean it up so I just took my time to just draw the highlight. So I'll duplicate it. I'll add a motion blur. Add a little bit of blur to also duplicate it again. Add the blur.
to add some highlights again just paint change the blending mode to screen and just adjust so looking at the process we are achieving our results and it's all about just taking our time to do it also add highlight to the other side of him so you just take your time and paint the highlight just take your time if you made a mistake just select your eraser or you can add a layer mask and just clean it up you don't need to rush and doing all this stuff because it's, it's best to do very good work and you, you get a lot of people giving you good comments We added some highlight to the dress also, and if it's too much, we just reduce the opacity and all the fill. I add a blur to it. So if if you don't have any plugin, just check my previous videos. I have the links to the plugins over there. Just download it have the alien skin I have the red giant i also have uh, this one also this video so let me know in the comment section which country you are watching this video from and just give me a like i'll go and check it out over there and reply to you so we'll make a snapshot and we'll go to our alien skin plugin if you don't have the alien skin check my previous video you get the link over there and download the alien skin so anytime you launch alien skin try to reset your workspace i've been repeating this just try and reset it that's the best way because it's always safe the last settings so it will be adjusting our settings just to get the the vibe or the color grade we want and I always say, if you're using the alien skin, if you see the color to be good to you, just on your left hand side, you have a lot of presets. Just go and create your own and add it, add it to the preset. And anytime that you, you need that color vibe or you need that specific color grade, you just go to your preset and you just apply. There's no need for you to go and, 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 and be shifting some sliders just to get that effect. So we'll just change the sliders. So guys, so this is just a quick tutorial and we'll just achieve it. Uh, this, uh, this was a very long edit and I'll uh, try and condense it for you guys to just have a quick look on how you can achieve it. If you don't understand it, you can watch the video over and over and add it to your, your liked videos and just watch the video. Anything you don't understand, let me know in the comment section or any problem you have, just let me know in the comment section. I will be uploading a video every week, so check him up on Instagram. I'm Grandpa Wilson and I will see you guys in my next video. Keep creating and don't stop. Peace.